Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a reading for Taurus for the third through the fifth. Angels and spirit guides, what are the messages for Taurus? What do they need to see or acknowledge? Messages for Taurus. Taurus, wow. So we have a king of air popping. So this is about somebody who sits at the throne of the power of the air. So there could be a lot of communication going on right now. Um, very professional. Someone who could be like um, speaking to people publicly or um, in their work. Um, and this is very professional, knowledgeable. Somebody who is an expert at communication. So crossing this, we have the Knight of Earth. An earth sign, very loyal, stable, dependable. Now this could be somebody who's rewarding you. It could be a friend who is supporting you in what you're doing. Okay, so influencing this, we have the Empress energy. Money, wealth, and abundance, lavish abundance. Um, this is about fertility, Venus love very abundant energy so somebody is giving away or nurturing others um, probably through their words recent past here we have dealing with some kind of difficult situation with the devil or the ego a false sense of um, entrapment being entrapped um, a negative person that was around you but now we have the night of air. So we have fast moving energy, a lot of communication. I feel like you're too busy to deal with this situation. You're too busy helping other people. The Empress is the energy of Taurus. So what's in the near future? The four of air resting um being peaceful taking a time out because you've been in this swirling energy of communication and it could be people talking to you as well so you're going to be resting um getting centered there could have been some hurtful communication here four of air is usually after a three of air But not always. All right, we have a page of fire, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. It has news of something that is creative or interesting. It sort of ignites the, the spark within you. It ignites the inner, your inner passion. So you get news of something new and interesting. Queen of water could be a water sign around you could be someone very compassionate loving or kind around you as well Pisces cancer or Scorpio energy I got the moon is your fear afraid of what you can't see afraid of uncertainty um, it's also about following your intuition, needing to follow your intuition and release any fears that you have around a situation. All right, what's the outcome here? Okay, we have stability with the four of earth. Staying stable, um, very cautious, grounded, earth element energy that's stable, grounded. Um, holding back your energy as well not so open more like closed off um what is this four of earth about to me it's about stability all fours are about you need to get into a place where you can be stable um some of you could be dealing literally with a gemini libra aquarius or an earth sign Three of Earth, working in a team, um, working with others. It's very productive. 
So you're gonna, you need this rest because you're gonna be then working again. There's a queen of cups around you, someone who wants to be there for you, wants to partner with you. What is this queen of cups? For Taurus, queen of cups. Could be a friend, someone who's a good listener, someone who is compassionate and kind. I have the zero, so we have a new beginning, a new journey. Um, you feel very optimistic. Somebody around you is taking the leap of faith with you. So what is the four of air? Cutting off communication. There could have been a Capricorn around you, but it's a negative energy. What is the four of air? So we have the judgment. This is a spiritual transformation. It's Pluto rules over Scorpio. Time to move in a new direction. Um, it could be somebody coming back from your past. And that could be a person you're not wanting to talk to. Um, the renewal is a calling. Needing to follow a calling. What is the night of air here for Taurus? Wow, so there's um, fast information of a new opportunity for emotional fulfillment. The power of water. So a new opportunity to feel love or to feel happy is coming in with the judgment so it could be divine timing it's influenced here by the empress so there could be a new person in your life as well who wants to take a leap of faith with you and what's the outcome here for taurus what's the outcome for taurus This. the eight of earth see you're going to be working you're going to be utilizing your skills you're going to be working with people you, you're going to just be so busy um okay we have here the energy of hierophant and ten of wands some of you could be married in a situation here where you have guilt or heavy feelings about a situation um Maybe something happened recently. Maybe you went through something that was unexpected. Um, okay. Let me just grab a few more clarifying cards. So it shows you needing to rest and recuperate before you're about to launch into something great. What is the outcome here with the four of earth, three of earth, eight of earth? A nine of cups. So there's some kind of a wish coming true, a wish that's being fulfilled with this ace of water. So what is the renewal? What is the judgment about? Okay, so it happens quickly. Eight of wands and the knight or six of wands. Victory. Um, someone could come in towards you very quickly, but it's about a victory, a win, overcoming um you're winning the competition. You're coming out ahead of others. So what is this ace of water about? Why are we getting an ace of water? Oh my goodness. Knight of wands. Fire sign energy coming in towards you or someone with a lot of passion. And the seven of cups. Confusion. It's a complex decision. And the tower. Wow. Okay, so it's unexpected. What is this page of wands? Five of swords. And a two of cups. And a Sagittarian energy here. And a three of swords. So needing to be patient with someone here. There could be someone here who is... Um, they're in an energy of conflict. Hmm. What is the Queen of Cups about? Five of Pentacles. Earth sign energy. Somebody who feels left out in the cold. Okay. So you could be feeling left out in the cold. But this person is coming forward. Five of Wands. 
competitive, seven of swords, but then the sun is here. So something comes to light, perhaps, with a person. But this person is still coming forward. They're coming forward where they want a fresh start. They want to take a leap of faith with you. Um, something may have happened in the past, but the past is in the past. So, um, what is this eight of earth here for Taurus? What is the new beginning with the new work? What is this eight of earth about? New labor, new job, new hobby. Nine of earth, very stressed out or worried about it. Two of swords, needing to make a decision. And what is the three of earth? Okay, so there's a chariot. There's forward movement, momentum, a victory. Something all of a sudden moves forward. Okay. Again, we have this. We have a king of cups, but we have these energies here of a fire sign who's confusing you. It's hurtful, but this person's kind of non-committal. However, there is a king of cups and a queen of cups. Somebody could be coming forward wanting a fresh start with you because the ace of coin is here too. So a new beginning, a new potential, eight of pentacles. Somebody feels like they're criticized or someone's very super critical of them. So it's coming up as earth. So that could be you looking really closely at the details of a situation like micro managing or looking at the details. So what do we have here for Taurus? What is this? Envy? Feeling like somebody else is has the grasses greener on the other side, but it never is. It never is. Everybody's got their own stuff all tied up. You feel conflicted or you feel like something is not working for you, but it will. It's about to... It's about to launch for Taurus being patient, needing patience and the temple path. This is actually going to lead you back to your spirituality because you need to be patient to wait for this. And as you're patient, um, then you learn um, to be more resilient. Because you're sitting in the feelings of uncertainty and then you have to have faith. So that brings you back to your faith here with the temple path. So what do we have here for Taurus and what do they need to see? Safe home protection, similar to what Aries got. Spell for safe home protection. And I got best possible decision, needing to find your true north. What is true for you? Um, it's holding a compass and it's like facing north. So it's like, what is your true north? What is your path? Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for Taurus. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in any of my jewelry products, please visit my website, starseed1111.com. Thank you and take care.